So your girlfriend's family is hosting you for Thanksgiving? That's so sweet. Yeah, I mean, I've already met them, so I'm not as nervous as I could be. I'm still going to be putting a little extra time to that pumpkin pie that I'm baking for them. What about you? Got plans? Well, both of my parents are immigrants, as is my husband's mother, so my family doesn't have particularly strong feelings for the holiday, but we all have the day off, and my children love seeing their grandparents, so we'll be hosting all four of them for dinner. In the morning and mid-afternoon, however, we volunteer at the local food shelf, both in stocking the shelves of items people cook at home and in serving fully cooked meals for those who can't make it at home. Cool. What about you, Drip? Whoa, watch your stuff. Sorry, this dish bin is heavy, so I'm just going to set it down. And no, we're not doing anything. Not a fan of celebrating indigenous genocide? Uh, no. I mean, yeah, I mean... <sighs> Dad's still out of work. He's been applying and interviewing for months, and if I hear one more person say, no one wants to work anymore, I'm punching them in the dick. <sighs> so we don't exactly have the budget for a big Thanksgiving meal. Yeah. Been there, done that. It sucks. What about your mom? Well, she works two jobs, and she's scheduled to work tomorrow all day anyway, plus holiday pay, so, you know, that'll help. Um, you know, and I'm taking as many shifts as I can to help, so even though we don't work tomorrow on Thanksgiving, I'm working all weekend. You know, I got Friday off from school, um, so yeah. Well, glass half empty, holiday pay is pretty good. Oh, customer. Hi, welcome to Cafe Latte. Oh, Drek, do you have a minute? Yeah, are you guys getting slammed out there? No, it's very quiet up there. Um, I just got a text from the food shelf that I volunteer at. Apparently, we're going to be down a couple of volunteers. I was wondering if you or your father would be interested in helping. It's not paid or anything, but if neither of you are doing anything that day, um... Uh, yeah, actually, that, that sounds kind of fun. It's the it's the one on 4th Street, right? We sometimes go there to get groceries. Well, we would really appreciate the extra help. I, yeah, sure, let me call them. You're not actually short any volunteers, are you? Shh. I hate people being alone for holidays. Look, Mariah Carey cannot be the only original December tune. There's gotta be more. Coldplay has one called Christmas Lights. Really good, super underrated, in my opinion. Adding that to the playlist. What are you two boners doing? Yeah, we're about to open soon. Boners? You can't be on your phones when the doors unlock. We're putting together a holiday playlist. Now? After Thanksgiving? Yes, after Thanksgiving, Boss has a rule. No holiday music until the day after Thanksgiving. This way, we don't get sick of the genre before December even starts. Okay, that, that actually makes sense. There's only like 10 Christmas songs. That's another thing. For the holiday playlist, we can only have a maximum of three, maybe four variations of the same song. And they've all got to be different from each other. Like, preferably different genres entirely. We've been trying to find, like, more original or unknown stuff, like versions of Auld Lang Slang, which never pop up, even though it's super old. Uh, parody songs, especially by Straight No Tracer. Those are hilarious. We found a Hanukkah song. Wow. One song out of the whole playlist. How touching. You're the only Jew I hang out with, okay? So if you have any other suggestions, give me that. Can't believe you need this much fucking culture. Oh, let me see his phone when you're done. There aren't any major Muslim holidays in December this year, but I like to get a start on Lilet al Mirage. I can't think of any other original December tunes. Sorry, Cyrus. Oh, that's quite all right. I'm sure we'll get suggestions. Good morning. Welcome to Cafe Latte. Do you two both want your usual? Ma'am? My order is going to take a minute. I have enough time to indulge in a halfway decent breakfast before my shift. Fair enough. Yes, ma'am. And if I could get a little magic to keep me awake for the day, I'd much appreciate it. A drop of Eldritch blood will keep you up until tonight. Long day ahead of you, and a long night behind me. I don't know what it is about the holidays turns people into idiots, and why I'm dumb enough to keep signing up for the on-call shifts. But my department responded to three 
Three car crashes over Thanksgiving, almost all of them involving some sort of alcohol. You're one of the volunteer emergency responders, right? Chief of the Volunteer Fire Department, yes ma'am. Was it your guy who got hit by a car on the scene? Yes. What happened? So it was the last call of the night, well, this morning, and we and the police sectioned off the whole side of the road with clear orange cones and everything so that we could do our job without getting hit by a car. And some asshole blows right through the section and clips one of my boys. Is he all right? He's sitting in one of my rooms at the hospital now. He'll be all right. Still pissed everyone off. I mean, I'm all for defund the police, but tell me they got him. Oh yes, they chased after him, got the license plate, and arrested him just before dawn. He's sitting nice and cozy in a cell, hopefully for a while. I have to fill out a truckload of paperwork on what happened, and my wife is making my boy's family a casserole so they have one less thing to worry about. Oh, good for her. So does everyone in your family accuse you of being a Grinch during the holidays, too? Oh, all the time. I don't have a problem with holidays. I, I have a problem with people getting drunk and or stupid during the holidays. You know how many exploding turkeys I have to deal with every year? Or burn down Christmas trees from people who can't bother to water their standing fire hazard? Ugh. My children never liked me for it, but I absolutely forbade one of those things from being set up in my house. I don't even like the plastic ones. Oh, okay. This uh, wasn't injuries. One time, I had a man come in who fell off the roof setting up Christmas lights, and his wife comes in with him. Except, he had another woman as his emergency contact. Was it his real wife and the first lady was his mistress? Worse. He had two separate families, had two kids from the first wife and three from the second, and that's the day they found out about each other. Security had to stop a brawl. Now there's some family drama. I only like it when it's not my family. Bigamy is illegal. Do you have to pick? No. Once everyone calmed down, both women divorced him. Especially when his fiance showed up, woman number three, hearing about the accident. Well, now that just sounds exhausting. I can barely keep up with my one family. I know, right? I mean, yeah, granted, I work 12-hour shift yesterday, I get another one today, and but I only work like three or four day weeks, and I'm still like, dude, where do you find the time? I have a black coffee with eldritch blood for the first responder, arcane rush with a gluten-free pumpkin muffin for the ER nurse, fresh from the oven. Yes. Bob, you're an angel. How much do I owe you? It's on the house. Good morning, JC. Oh, are you studying? Yeah, classes start back up tomorrow and I didn't get much chance to study over the holiday. Same. Did your teacher also schedule a test for tomorrow? No, but teachers who schedule a test for Monday after a long weekend or a week off should get slapped. Well, yeah, but I can't reach that high. Well, did you two have a good Thanksgiving at least? Oh yeah, Nicole wasn't kidding about her dad. He takes holiday cooking very seriously. A bit intense, but... Oh my god, the turkey was so moist. And that gravy? Mmm! Also, her mom is hilarious. The three of us basically gossiped for hours before stuffing our faces. Oh, how fun! Husnia, Dad, and I volunteered at the food shelf that day. It was pretty fun. Dad started doing it regularly. Really? Really? Yeah. He's worked a lot of food service jobs, mostly in the kitchen, so they all loved him and asked him to come back. He's still job hunting, obviously, but this gives him something to do instead of being depressed at home all day. And it's another thing to add to his resume. This is the 4th Street food shelf, right? The vegetarian dish is almost done. I'm gonna need help carrying it out, though. The pot's bigger than I am. So you're a witch, huh? A minor one. Don't expect anything more fantastic than a good luck charm. Oh, so long as you're not scamming people out of their money. My aunt pretended to be psychic for the longest time. Uh, by the way, I won't be able to come in next week because I got a job interview. Not that it'll go anywhere. You've been having trouble landing a paying job? I have been living the literal definition of insanity for the last three months. I think I can help with I know that look. What masterpiece are we planning today? Holiday cards. You're that family member that sends out holiday cards to literally everyone they've ever met, aren't you? Uh-huh. I did not peg you for the type, but in hindsight, it doesn't make sense. Do you do one of your 
what's it called? Um, surrealist? Abstractionist. Abstractionist paintings? No, I tend to create more traditional paintings for this. And then I scan it into the computer and use it to print out however many cards I need to send. By the way, Cyrus, I'm going to need yours and Bob's mailing address. Sure, I'll text it to you. She loves keeping those things. I usually focus too much on buying the presents for the few people that I actually care about instead of the cards. But, I mean, hey, you do what makes you happy. Some of my family don't think that being an artist is a real job, even if it's supplemental to my teaching job. So sometimes I use one of the biggest paintings I've made that year that's sold for the most money. Petty. I approve. My cousin also makes holiday cards, but she does it in a more cartoony and graphic style to mine, which she says is better because it's more commercial and has more universal appeal. She doesn't think that creating a narrow, dedicated audience is a viable marketing strategy. So you're in an art feud? If I give up making holiday cards with my own style while she continues it, then it's like saying that she's the better or at least more successful artist. I don't think that's how that works, but okay. Also, she thinks that I shouldn't be allowed to celebrate Christmas because I'm a Buddhist. It's very dumb. She always does ultra-Christian versions of the holiday cards, even though only half the family actually goes to church. I try to be more universal. Aw, you drew a dog with a Christmas hat. It's just a doodle. But I can make that work. Ooh, maybe you can add, like, puppies around the, the adult dog with the Santa hat and, and, like, give the little puppies elf hats? Have I ever told you that you're a genius? Hi, welcome to Cafe Latte. Yeah, I mean, really? Hilarious. Yeah. Cool. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Been there, done that. It sucks. What about you? Whoa, what you say? Mmm. Hello. Got news? Sorry, Cyrus. She gets slapped. Not a fan of celebrating indigenous genocide. Yeah. Glass half empty. Really good. Super underrated. Holiday food is pretty good. Totally makes sense. I know that look. But I mean, hey, you do what makes you happy. Bit intense, but. Abstractionist paintings? Oh my god, what masterpiece are we planning today? What about you, Drip? Yeah, sure, let me call him. Well, yeah, but I can't reach that high. I mean, yeah. Um, and if I hear one more person say, no one wants to work in um, work in all weekend, obviously. And no, we're not doing that. I mean, I'm punching them in the dick. So yeah, same. Yeah. Uh, no. Um, Good morning, JC. How fun. Really? That's so sweet. Oh, Dre, do you have any? Shh. No, it's very quiet there. We're about to open soon. For two, there's gotta be more. Yes, that's another thing. We found a Hanukkah song. I don't think that's how that works, but okay. I approve. Sure, I'll text it to you. She loves it. Nice. <sighs> what are you two boners doing? After Thanksgiving? Wow, how touching. Can't believe it. it's not Now? Okay, that, that actually makes sense. It's very dumb. Real job. Abstractionist. I try to be more universal. It's just me. Have I ever told you the truth on this? But I can make that work. Hey, do you two both want to read it? Oh, that's quite alright. Good morning. Welcome to Cafe Latte. Long day ahead of you. What happened? Is he all right? It's on the house. Hmm. 
I mean, yeah, granted, no. Oh, okay. So does everyone in your family accuse you of being a bridge to the holidays too, right? Was it your guy who got hit by a car on the scene? No, he'll be alright. I mean, I'm all for the fun of police parties. How many got him? Oh, good for her. Still pissed everyone off. This uh, wasn't in his. I know, right? And I'm still like, dude, worse. Where do you find the time? Exploding turkeys, I have to deal with every year. I can barely keep up with my one family. Look at me as a leader. You have to pick. And I just seem to be Oh. Ma'am? Yes, I know. Yes, ma'am. Been along that time. It turns people into idiots. Yes. Well, this morning. Oh, all the time. I much appreciate it. Bob, you're an angel. Oh, well, there's some people. I don't know, Chief of Volunteer Fire Department, yes ma'am. And some asshole, I only like it when it's not my family, hopefully for a while.